What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Game of Friday. Welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Call of Duty Cold War, the season one update that integrates Cold War with Warzone. We're going to check out the trailer, and as well, they dropped a like six minute video of just like diving into more details and stuff like that. We're going to be looking at both of them right here and just diving in and checking out the trailer. So let's dive in and react to these. I'm very excited for Cold War. I'm fucking scared out my mind on how much this is going to actually change Warzone. So I'm excited. Let's see exactly what's going to be going on. Right, let's check out the Season 1 Battle Pass trailer. This is the first one we're going to watch. And then we're going to jump into the longer deep dive. Introducing the Season 1 Battle Pass. Okay. It's, it's kind of weird that they're not just continuing on from Entering the... this global conflict of deniable ops is enemy number one. Enemy number one. Stitch. Stitch. This legendary operator is a former Soviet chemical weapons specialist. I hope he's a battle pass game because he looks lit. Load up for infill with two new weapons. Mac 10. Mac 10. This SMG is ideal for close quarters combat. Ooh. It spits out 9mm rounds at Jesus a rate. Jesus Christ. Okay. For more range, check out the Groza assault rifle. Groza. Chamber 762, it's got solid mm, stock. I don't like that iron sight. For all the heads out there, check out these field ready custom blueprints. Okay. Trash, trash. Suit up and Nobody want a shotgun. Operator in vehicle skins as you take the fight into any situation. Yeah, I forgot they got zombies. I forgot we're gonna be rocking zombies. Look at the airport. I wonder if they're gonna change for dancing anyway. Customization gear, charms, camos, okay. stickers, and more. All that is coming. Okay. That's the basics of the season one battle. Where are they? Wherever right there. You go, whoever you fight, you'll be earning new. That's probably multiplayer. Way. Multiplayer map, right? Tiers of tactical grade content. There's too much to cover in one briefing. <laughs> fight the battle. I dig it. Never happened. The season you see one. See that gun? Pass. Let's go. Coming to the fight in Black Ops Cold War. And let's Amazon. go, bro. I am ready for this update, bro. Like, let's go. Let's check out this next video. What is this? Gameplay trailer. Let's check out this next one. This week, Black Ops Cold War will invade Warzone oh my God. with Season 1 storming onto consoles and PC. That attack chopper. Will get like, are we going to be able to control that during Warzone? Maps across Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Three free to acquire weapons, a okay. battle pass system, and more. Today, members of the Treyarch and Raven development teams provided a bit more insight into what's in store. For the full length studio broadcast, check out Treyarch's YouTube channel. Okay. For the highlights, stay tuned. So, this right is not now, it. We're dropping into Rebirth Island. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. They got a full video of them diving in that's longer than this one. Um, I'm Damn, should I check out that versus check? Let's check out this one. We're here. Let's check out this one. And if we we need a little bit more explanation about what's going on, then we check out the, the full longer video. But Jesus Christ, they are letting us know, bro, from the gate. They let us know this bad shit to talk about. For the highlights, stay tuned because right now... Look at this. What? Let's go. I can't wait for Rebirth Island, bro. A new area. We wanted to look back into the Black Ops lore. Yes. Really deep into where did the Nova 6 gas originate from? Players will experience uh, open area and open island uh, where they'll be able to roam around the map. And in there, in the center of this island, is the actual bioweapons facility. Oh my god. Season 1 also marks the arrival of three new operators. Oh, game, okay. Starting the week of launch, players will get to know Stitch. Stitch, let's go. by the Soviets, he's a former bioweapons expert hellbent on revenge. Oh my With god, his assassination is like lit. In the mix, you'll need some additional tools in the toolbox. Expect a huge addition to your Warzone armory, as a vast infusion of Cold War weaponry becomes yep. available for you to use in your loadouts. I Unless can't a has a wait, bro. Challenge needed to unlock it, Black Ops Cold War primary and secondary weapons, including blueprint variants, will now be accessible in Warzone. <laughs> that's oh, that's crazy! That is insane! Along with a brand new score streak. Let's start with the Crow's Assault Rifle. From a gameplay perspective, uh, it's a bullpup, which means it's going to be a little bit quicker on the draw. You're going to be able to ADS a little bit quicker. Ooh, coming out of sprint a little bit okay. Faster. And it's a lot of fun. It's very unique visually. 
the flip side, to switch to the Mac 10, you've got a traditional Black Ops favorite here in the Mac 10. It's an incredible okay. SMG. It's got the fastest fire rate of all the SMGs. Oh my it's kind god. Of a bullet hose, but it's a ton of fun to use. This is the score streak, the harp, the high altitude. Recon so we're getting new score streaks too. Tell you where all the what? Are. It's gonna show the direction they're facing. There's no counter for it because it's a high level score streak. Uh, other than to shoot it down. Uh, oh my god. Warzone. Oh, Vance UAV in okay. With two new gulag experiences. Okay, the this is what I wanted to know about, about too. Uh, the prisoners, right? So as you go down the hallways, the metal detectors go off, alert your enemy, let you know where you're at. So we're adding a little twist there to your 1v1. What? Shifting gears to Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, the launch of Season 1 also ushers in the arrival of eight maps, mixing up a range of 6v6, 2v2, oh, and my fire God. Team experiences. Here, for the rundown, is Treyarch's Matt Schrantz. We've got a new 6v6 map, The Pines, and an 80s mall. So we've got all the 80s mall fans Oh, okay, there. the mall. Raid is returning. Raid! Oh, let's go. The team has let's go. Focusing on making sure that Raid plays like it played in Black Ops 2. We'll have oh, okay. It's actually under the Berlin Wall in an underground tunnel. We also have ICBM, which I believe is actually okay. the smallest gunfight map. It's located in a Oh, it's a gunfight map. We've got okay. KGB, which is located in a Soviet financial building. Uh, we've got Game Show, and this is just a, it's just a fun map. It is set on a, on a game show stage. It's <laughs> on holiday, we've got trees. Nuke we've got down, trees. Got what? Looking ahead to some other- That is lit. Season, looks like the team's got some plans for something called Sanatorium. Sanatorium is located in Russia. It's our Sanitarium. biggest fire team map to date. We find oh, it's a that fire it team. Spread yeah. your wings a little bit further. With Newtown 84 now in the mix, Treyarch delivers on the nostalgia with a holiday-themed version of the Black oh, okay. Ops cult classic. It was just, it was just a fun thing when we were stringing up the lights and kind of brainstorming what we could do. Is it felt very different. It feels, it feels really cool. The holiday spirit isn't okay. just limited to Newtown. Turns out that the undead oh my god, the <laughs> with Treyarch turning the map into more of a winter wasteland than a wonderland. That's this cool. Season, there's plenty of cheer to keep you in the Yuletide mood. Uh, we are adding a new limited time mode called Jingle Hells. Jingle uh, Hells. It's a retheming of Demachina. What the, the fuck? Uh, <laughs> across the map to free zombies and drop presents. What? And inside those presents, you'll get all sorts of things, ranging from coal to ray guns. In addition to in-game okay. introduction That's lit. of battle pass weapons and customization. Are we getting a new map? Zombies, the undead also get new play spaces for Onslaught on PlayStation. Throughout the season, oh, okay. as we add these multiplayer maps, they will be added to Onslaught. Oh, so that's oh, that's new opportunities to earn people not on PlayStation. It's tight. <laughs> Yo, that's cool. Later this season, in addition to the Pines, we'll be adding Raid as well. Amazing. Yes. Fans can expect the new cranked mode for the first time ever in Zombies. Cranked season. Plus much more to come for zombies in season So two. that's like when you, you have a timer of Yeah, you gotta keep killing. Down, when it's zero, you die. Um, what? Every time you kill a zombie, that timer resets. It's even oh more my god. Player when you're juggling between all these different zombies, trying to make sure everyone stays alive. When season <laughs> one launches, remember that the That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be hella fun. Prestige levels and the battle pass between Black Ops Cold War and Warzone becomes available in Season 1. That is lit, That's right. bro. When Season 1 drops, expect your Season level to be synchronized based on your current Season level in Black Ops Cold War. That your is lit. Your previous unlocks from Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, such as weapons, perks, score streaks, and more, will remain unlocked. Yeah, For that all is... The details, yes, bro. Let's go, bro. They doing a lot. This is a huge update. Call of Duty never, yo, you gotta give them credit, bro. They, they combining. They literally combining the two games, bruh. Like, what is this update? I can't wait, bruh. Like, what is this? They live, yo. <laughs> yo. This is, 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 to me, I love it because, again, it, it's so, it's gonna be so much content to do, as well as so much, like, versatility, like, the sweats are gonna have with this game and like people that want to grind this game you're gonna have tons of stuff to do for a long time not just with cold war which is war zone so i'm like yo i'm i'm on board i can't wait to dive in it comes out on the 16th and i best believe i'm gonna be doing a video here on the channel checking out 
the season when season one drops. I'm also do a battle pass uh, video, checking out and reacting to everything that's in the battle pass because I am going to be grabbing it myself. So if you want to check out that, best believe right when season one drops, that's probably going to be the first video I'll drop. And then my first time dropping in to Rebirth Island, checking that out. I'm definitely going to check that out with the team and make some funny videos. So again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We hit that 2K. We hit that 2K, 2K subscriber count before the end of the year. Now, now we pushing on to 2021 goals. I'm going to save that for a different video. If you are digging the vibes like always, bro, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Reactions, playing Call of Duty, playing Fortnite, playing Pokemon. If you don't want to miss a video again, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell. It notifies you in the next time I drop a video. Also hit the like button too. That shit helps me out a lot as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like, whoo, bro, we got tons of shit. To, yo, Call of Duty is looking out with the content, bro. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram or TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace I love you guys I'm gonna see you guys on the next one